These are the first round clashes, which we are going to analyze next. Argentina, Italy, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. This is a very difficult tie to predict, as El Potro won't be playing for Argentina. If we think, without taking Del Potro account, Italy has a better team, but we also know that no matter the ranking they have, Argentinian players, every time they have to play for their country, give their best and get great results, and even more playing at home. In our opinion, Del Bonis will be the first singles player for Argentina, and he will defeat both first and second Italian players, that will probably be Fonini and Seppi. Italy will win the doubles with the Fonini Boleri team, and Fonini will defeat Argentina's second singles player that could be Meyer, Pella, or Schwarzman. But one of these players will defeat Seppi to give Argentina the victory. Germany, Belgium, in Frankfurt, Germany. In our opinion, without any reason, this is one of the easiest ties to predict. We don't know what the actual result will be, but we think that Goffin, if he plays, will defeat both German singles players, that will probably be Kohl Schreiber and Alexander Zverev. But all the other points will be for Germany. Both Kohl Schreiber and Zverev will defeat Belgian second singles player, probably Steve Darcis, and Germany will win the doubles to pass to the quarterfinals. Australia, Czech Republic, in Kuyong, Australia. This is also a very difficult tie to give a result to, as both teams have very good players. If we think, probably Burdich will win his two points, but whoever Czech Republic's second singles player is, Rosol or Stepanek maybe, will probably lose the two matches against Curios and Tomic, so the doubles will be the key point of this clash. We think Stepanek is a great doubles player, so he can help the Czech Republic to win the doubles and the tie. Another possibility is that Rosol or Stepanek defeats Tomic and gives the Czech Republic the clash, no matter what the doubles result was. USA, Switzerland, in Birmingham, United States. This tie is not as interesting as you may think. Why? Because Roger and Stan probably won't be playing. Stan already confirmed it and Roger didn't say anything, but we don't think he will be playing. However, let's imagine Roger played. He would win the two singles against Disner and Sock, but his teammate, probably Marco Ciudinelli, wouldn't win any match and the doubles would be for the Bryan brothers and for the United States that would pass to the quarterfinals. Japan, France, in Tokyo, Japan. As all tennis fans may know, France has a great team. In this tie, they will be playing against Japan, that actually has one very good player. But unfortunately for Japanese people, Kei Nishikori won't be playing, as by those days he will be in South America playing some tournaments. So there's no much more to say about, as France has 4 or 5 great singles players and a great doubles team, so we think that Japan doesn't have many chances to pass. Canada, Great Britain, in Ottawa, Canada. Another great tie to watch. Actually, it's a very even tie, as both countries have one very good player, and the rest are not so good. We think that Brownich will win his match against Great Britain's second singles player, that could be Evans or Edmund. But Murray will win his two matches against Brownich and Pospisil. In our opinion, finally Evans or Edmund will defeat Pospisil to qualify Great Britain to the quarterfinals, no matter what the doubles result was. However, if that didn't happen, the doubles will be for the Murray brothers, so Great Britain will pass to the next round. Serbia, Russia, in Niche, Serbia. This clash is not very attractive, as Russia, in our opinion, has the weakest team in this edition of the Davis Cup. If Novak Djokovic played, the victory would be for Serbia, as he would win his two points, and his countryman, Troiki, just winning one of his matches would give their nation the victory. But let's imagine that Novak doesn't play. Troiki will probably win his two matches against maybe Kachanov, Yusni or Kuznestov, or Gavashvili or Tursunov, maybe. We don't know the two players that are gonna play. 
so Tsarevich or maybe Lajovic, just winning a point would qualify Serbia to the quarterfinals. Croatia, Spain, in Ostjek, Croatia. Last clash of the first round, but a very difficult one. In this tie, we couldn't decide who the winner was going to be, but we finally concluded that Cilic will win his two singles for Croatia, but Nadal and Ferrer, or Bautista Good maybe, will defeat Koric or Karlovic. Up to there, we are in two points all, so the doubles is the key point again. And, as finally Dodik said, he won't play Davis Cup this season, as Spain has Mark Lopez, we finally concluded that this clash will be for Spain. After giving our prediction of the first round clashes of this 2017 Davis Cup, we already have the quarterfinal ties, which are going to be analyzed next. Germany, Argentina, in Germany. Starting with the quarterfinals, this is also an even tie, as probably Del Potro will be playing for Argentina now. We think that Del Po will win his two matches against probably Colt Schreiber and Alexander Sperev, but those players will probably defeat Argentina's second singles player, maybe Del Bonis or Schwarzman, we actually don't know who. The results of the doubles will be the key point of this tie, and we don't know why, but we think Argentina will go into the semi-finals after winning that point. USA, Czech Republic, in the United States. This quarterfinal clash will be very entertaining in our opinion, as USA has a great team and Czech Republic has some very good players. We think that Berdych will defeat both USA singles players, probably Isner and Sok, but those two players will defeat Stepanek or maybe Rosol. The doubles will be a very exciting match, but as the USA team will play at home, we think that the Bryan brothers will defeat Burdich and Stepanek to give the USA the qualification to the semi-finals. France, Great Britain, in France. Best clash in this edition of the Davis Cup? In our opinion, it will probably be as Great Britain has Murray, that can defeat any player in the world, and France has, in our opinion, the best team of the tournament. Starting to analyze this tie, probably Murray will win his two points against the two French singles players, that we don't know who they are going to be, as France has many great players. On the other hand, the two French singles players will defeat Edmund or Evans, whoever plays. The doubles will be a great match, but as France has a great team that plays all throughout the year, and they will be playing at home, we think that this clash will finish with France in the semi-finals. Serbia, Spain, in Serbia. This will be a very entertaining tie, as Serbia has Djokovic and Spain has Nadal. Djokovic will probably win against Nadal and Ferber, or Bautista Good maybe, always thinking these players will play. For the other team, Nadal and Ferrer, or Bautista Wood, will defeat Troiki. The doubles and the tie will be for Spain, with Mark Lopez helping the doubles, as Serbia has a good doubles player now. Semi-final clashes are now set, and we are nearer to know who the champion is going to be. Argentina, USA, in Argentina. There are many things to take account before giving a prediction for this first semi-final clash. First, as it will be played in Argentina, and many of the players from that country, except for Del Potro, play better in clay, probably the tie will be played in that surface. This is a key factor, as in this type of courts, serves as Del Potro's or Isner's, do not go as fast as they go on hard courts. Starting the prediction for this tie, we think that Del Potro, with his people at home, will win his two points. The doubles, there is no doubt that will be for the Bryan brothers, as Argentina doesn't have a good team. Up to there we are okay, but now is where the thing gets a little bit complicated. But, as it will be clay, and in Argentina, we finally decided that Argentina's second singles player, that will be the one who plays better during the year, will defeat Sock to give Argentina the second final in a row. France, Spain, in France. 
second semi-final of the 2017 Davis Cup, to be played in France. Very difficult to say who the winner is going to be, as we are big fans of Nadal, but we also like very much France team in general. Key factor of this clash in our opinion, it will be played in France, so they will probably choose a hard court. We are not sure about this, but let's imagine that Nadal win his two points. The other Spaniard that will be playing, personally we think Bautista Good, will probably lose against Songa and Monfils. And as France has the Mayuter Bird team for the doubles, we think that they will be the ones who will be fighting against Argentina for the trophy. The final is set. Who is going to be the champion? Get to know that next. France, Argentina, in France. After quite a long time analyzing each of the ties of each of the different rounds, we finally get to the final. It will be played in a hard court, probably, so it's clear that there is one country that takes an advantage from that. It would be quite different if they played in Argentina's clay. So as to start the last analysis of the Davis Cup, being generous in a way, we say that Del Potro will win his two points. But, as France has great singles players, Del Bonis, or whoever plays for Argentina, doesn't have chances to defeat them. So, once again, the doubles is the key point of the clash, and taking account that Argentina doesn't have a good team, neither a good player actually, we think that France will be the champion of the 2017 Davis Cup. Thank you so much for watching until the end and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye!